Okay, so I promised you a video about my Pi Llama script. That is a Python program that enables you to talk to the new Raspberry Pi AI hack plus two without talking about JSON code and curl calls and so on. Areas. If you go to my GitHub repository, you can see it there, pylama.py. You can click on it and have a look at the code. It's just a Python script. So I'm going to do is show you how to use it today. So here I am on my Raspberry Pi 5. I already have Halo O Llama running a different window as I showed you in my review video for the uh, Raspberry Pi AI Hat Plus 2. And so basically you just, I've copied this into user slash local slash bin so that it's, uh, it's readily available. If you do minus H, you'll get the normal help that you need. Let me just show you, for example, if you just run Pi Llama minus minus list, that will ask the AI hat uh, what models are available through the Halo uh, model zoo. And it comes back and tells me these are the different models available. And if I do Pi Llama minus minus tags, then this will tell me the ones that have already been downloaded. So you can see one, two, three, four have been downloaded. And it tells you about what you know how many parameters they've got, for example, and so on. So I want to download one. The one that's missing is Quen two one point five billion. So that's very easy. So I do pi llama minus minus pull, and then Quen two colon one point five billion. That will go ahead and start downloading that model onto my Raspberry Pi. Of course, let's remember this is all running locally. No cloud shenanigans going on here. You just uh, have it all running locally. So we just let that finish. Okay, so that's finished. If I now run Pi Llama minus minus tags again, it shows me now there are five models there. You can do Pi Llama minus minus show and then give it a model name. So we're going to go with 1.5 there, Quen2, we just downloaded. And that will give us all the information about that model, again, including the number of parameters. But also here you get things like the template uh, and the stop and start tags and so on. So you get more details about how to use it. You can also delete models that you have downloaded. So let's list what's on the machine. And now we'll do uh, minus minus delete. And let's delete this one here. OK, and that will just go ahead uh, and delete it. And if we run now the tags again, we can see there are just four there because that one's been deleted. OK, now if you want to actually chat to a model, then we just do minus minus uh, model and then we'll just do quen to 1.5 billion that brings up the prompt doesn't load it into memory yet because we haven't talked to the ai hat plus two board but let's just say you know what is the uh, capital of uh, france question mark it's now going to load it into the memory on that uh, board on that hat and um, which is why this first time around it takes a second or two to answer there you go in the capital of france paris and then it does it now if we run uh pi llama minus minus ps it will ask it what's the model you've currently got loaded in in ram so there it is it's told us it's got that one loaded in ram which means if we run it again now if we ask a question what is the tallest building in uh, london OK, then the response comes back straight away because it didn't have to load that model into the RAM of the board. So there you go. So there's my Pi Llama script just makes using large language models on the AI Hat Plus 2 very, very easy on your Raspberry Pi.